Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to Season 1, Episode Number 2, where today we're going to play against Edinburgh City away, and then we've got Elgin City at home. Before we get to those games, uh, a quick recap of what's been happening on since the Episode 1, where we beat Clyde by two goals to nil, and we drew his Sterling nil-nil. Now, it's not been a bad start to the season, actually. We're still undefeated. Uh, there's a few yellows on, on board, rather than being green, but it um, doesn't matter. But since the Sterling game, we had the Iron Brew Cup first round. We beat Cowden Beef two goals to one. Michael McKenna and Jason McGrath on the score sheet. The new boy getting his first goal of the season for us. We then drew nil-nil to Annan. Um, it was kind of frustrating. It didn't... We just weren't at our best. We defended well enough. Uh, but we just couldn't finish our chances. So we moved on to Cowden Beef, where it was quite a competitive game. We did take the lead through Darren Lavery in the 34th minute, and it looked like it was going to be our day. We defended well, we created chances, we just, we just couldn't put them away. And Calvin Beef just had nothing to offer but till the, towards the end of the game, where they got the equaliser, and we can't wave a point. But you've got to look at the positives. It's a point. So we move on from that, and then we just beat Morton in the Iron Brew Cup second round. We've got a bit of a cup run going on. Uh, we beat them 1-0, and it's Michael McKenna again on the score sheet, which leaves us for the third round tie against Stenhouse Muir, which, uh, hey, he's got every chance of winning. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a cup run going on. So that today it leaves us with these two games. Uh, if you look at the league table, we're still fourth in the table, six points, four games played, only won one, but we're still undefeated. Uh, it would be nice if we try and keep that going for a while longer. In terms of the squad, everybody's happy. Uh, well, I say, I say everybody's happy. Gary Phillips is not happy. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a bit upset. He's not getting many games at the moment uh, but this is the team that I'm going with and the formation of course we're still going with this formation we've got Robbie McCrory in goal now before I go any further swear, Robbie McCrory has been outstanding he's been by far our best player uh, so far this season and on current form and I say current form and we'll see how he gets an overall but on current form I would say that he is too good for this league just put it out there could be well wrong further games along but at the minute he is making some brilliant saves, keeping us in a lot of these games. But we've got Robbie McCrory in goal. And on the left, we've got Chris McDonald. We've got uh, Kevin Wall, Johnny Fairbin, and uh, Stephen Notman in defence. Notman in for Marcus Godinho because he's been playing terrible. Godinho, he's not been playing well at all. His, his ratings is just, yeah, just not very good at all. And in the midfield, we've got uh, the ever-present ever Jamie Chapman. And Kieran Stewart, and as you can see, they started to develop a fairly decent partnership. So that's good to see. And then, of course, McDonald and Labour are, are forming a decent partnership as well. So that, that's that's good. Um, and in the, the attack at mid, as I just said, we've got Darren Labour on the left. We've got uh, Stephen Thompson in the mid in the middle, and Michael McKenna on the right. Now the thing is, I say the goalkeeper's been our best player, but I've started to realise that Michael McKenna is also one of our key players. Bit of a miserable git, though, I've got to say. <laughs> so I tried to get him to be a, a tutor to some of our youngsters. He is not interested at all. Does not want to help any of our youngsters progress. So, uh, yeah, so when it comes to tutoring, just don't ask that guy. He's just he's just not with it. So, anyway, moving on. And up front on his own, we've got Jason McGrath. Now, again, with the strikers, nothing is set in stone with the, with the strikers. Uh, McGrath's doing okay. He scored his first goal. Not playing brilliant overall, 6.46. 6. Aaron Morell is on 6.54. He's on two goals. So it's going to be a bit of a battle who tries to keep their place in the starting lineup. But I'm happy to go with this team for now. Uh, so I think I've just about covered everything. I think in terms of transfers, um, I think we made one more signing. We had him on. Yeah, there we, yes, we did. So we, we signed these three in the last episode. Uh, after that, we signed Murray Loudon again. It's, it's more for adding depth to the squad. He's got a bit of pace, good dribbling, and as I say, it's it's backup, I guess. He's 20 years old and could... Well, it, apparently, he's got a better rating than McKenna, so we'll, we'll see. But he adds a bit of pace, and that's what we want. Uh, so that's in terms of the signings, that is it. But well, what I will say is we do have an affiliate club, a senior club, to help us along the way. We haven't signed anyone yet. So the club that we've gone with... Well, obviously, it's Glasgow. It's uh, I was going to say Glasgow Celtic. Yeah, Glasgow Celtic. Why not Celtic? Yeah, they, they are our affiliate club. Now, it makes bloody sense, doesn't it? I mean, if we could just have a quick look, uh, how do I find that? There we go. Oh, I've just I've just seen it. I've just seen it, and I've just clicked off it. 
It just make it makes sense. You get an annual fee of twenty six thousand three hundred, uh, sorry, six hundred pounds. Um, you know they're, they're going to pay us that. We get a, a, a friendly every year with them, and we get all the the gate receipts, and we get some of their youngsters. You 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 can't. You've got to be smart. I mean, it's all about the money and uh, in, in, at this level. So I think that's a good idea. So we'll, we'll hopefully get a few of their players uh, in the next window. So that's what's been going on. And I think right now, I think everyone's all good to go. So let's kick things off against Edinburgh. Can we get three points? Let's find out. Okay, so I'm anticipating a bit of a, a challenge in this one. Not sure what to expect. I mean, in fact, any game I've played this season, I'm not sure what to expect. I think Peterhead... I think they're favourites to win the league. So they could be our toughest challenge. But on this one, no idea. But we're going to go with, with the underdogs. So let's give the fans something to cheer for. Uh, that's not a bad turnout, actually, to be fair. Where's our away fans? Can't see them. They're, uh, they're there somewhere. But here we go. We're kicking it off. Nice nice pitch. We'll get an early goal. And then just... and Well, basically... Create a, create a chance, get the goal, get more than one goal. And here we go, we've got McKenna on the ball, can you get the ball in the box, he can. And McGrath, that's a good chance. But we get one goal, but, then we, but not to sit back like we have been doing. We did against Calden Beef, which is very frustrating. So we're going to make sure that we don't do that again today. And that's just a side net, and I thought they were going to score. There, there's our fans, good turnout for the away fans. And I, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. But I'm impressed with the, with the start that we've been having. If we can just continue this, and who knows, who knows? This, you know, at the beginning of the season we were tipped to be in a relegation fight. That could still happen, but at the moment we're showing no signs of being that kind of team. But it's all Edinburgh at the minute. He strikes it's a great save by McCrory. Uh, he's saved us in so many situations at the minute, and there he goes again. At the minute we've only one shot the entire game. We run the attack again, but it gets to clear the way. It's back with Chapman. Fairvin to find Notman. Some decent passing so far. And Stuart tries to find McGrath. He does. And there wasn't a very good ball back. We're just trying to break down this defence. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. McGrath, can he This is scrappy, but we're we're keeping the ball. And he finds McKenna. What a goal! What a strike. That was a good bit of football for our buyers. We passed the ball well, managed to break down that defence, and Michael McKenna scores, and that uh, puts us up to second place currently. Decent stuff by Derek at the minute. But we need to crack on and get a second goal. We do this. We did this against Calvin Beef. We started off right, but we just sort of lost concentration. So we've got to make sure that that does not happen in a minute, and the stats show that it's only it's, it's quite even. Uh, I think Edward was having much of the ball at the moment. Oh my God, McCroy's just got injured. Oh my God. And I was and there's me saying how, how much of an impact he's been for us, been our best player. He gets injured. Uh, what's happened to him? Uh, uh, it's a hand injury, obviously, so that could be a lengthy spell. But we've got Scott Dingwall. I never actually looked at his stats. I'm quite looking at him. What? <laughs> Handling 16, rushing out 15. What on earth is this? He's got excellent handling for, for such for a backup goalkeeper anyway. Scott Dingwall. Well, okay, let's see how he performs. It's your chance to shine. Uh please don't get injured because I've got no more goalkeepers on the bench. I hope McCrory is not out for a long time. Because that would be that would be a disaster at this point. But handling sixteen, that's that's crazy. I never, I never, I genuinely never looked at it. Like, even during preseason, I, I stuck with um, McCroy all the way through. As McGrath can't outrun his defender. With 25 minutes in, it's going well. Aside from the injury, oh, they just managed to break through, and it's he's hit the post. He's hit the post. Thank God for the post. But there's still Edinburgh now. They're gonna have a go. By Stewart. Finds Chapman. McDonald tries to find Lavery. He does. Here we go. We're on the attack. McKenna's in. Can he get the ball in the box? He can. It's gone in. It's an own goal. Tenor scores an own goal. And I, But I'm convinced he would have gone in anyway because that was a very, very good ball in. It's very awkward to, to deal with. So there's a little bit of sympathy for the for that for the player there, but convinced that would have gone in. 
I think I think McGrath would have had that. Just just in my opinion. But it's two nil. Decent decent stuff at the minute from from us. But I'd be I'd be far more happier if we get another goal. Don't give Edinburgh a single chance to get back in it. Decent tackle by Stewart. He just hoofs the ball up. He's going to try and find McGrath, but doesn't do it. So far, so good. Plan is working. And I say that, and oh, easy. Easy. The goalkeeper's got a handle of 16. Easy. But judging by the stats, it seems, it, to me, it seems that Edinburgh acting like the better team, but just not taking their chances. We're on three shots. We're two on target. Well, how are we getting on in, in, in terms of ratings? Not not, not bad at all. And of course, Edinburgh score. I, I did sort of expect that they were going to do it. It was a, it was a decent cross in. It's never going to be that straightforward. We just got to hope now we keep our concentration. It's a decent finish. Perhaps should have defended a little bit better than that. Right, come on. We need to get another goal before half time. Don't make any. Sh oh, so that was a. Oh no 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 no! This is gonna go bad. Oof, that was bad decision on his part. He had a, he had a player alongside there. Bad decision, but I don't care. He missed. We're approaching half time. Since his first half been quite long. A lot, there's a lot going on. But judging by the stats, I you know I think if we do come away with a, with a draw. I don't think I'll be too disappointed. But obviously, I want three points. I want three points. I've got to think positive. Power of positivity. Right, it's half time. And it's so far, so good. We're going to need to try and keep them happy. Uh, I still believe in. I could try and get single messages to these players. Uh, happy, I'm happy with that. Graph, did you. There we go, he looks happy. But Graf is happy, there we go. Team talk is done. The league table's looking nice at the minute. We're second at the minute. But uh, here we go. War with the clearance. Good clearance. I also like to know your opinions on this save. I mean I've had a couple of comments, so thanks for that. I do appreciate that. So but like to know more. Like to know what you think uh, of this episode in particular and any sort of advice you can offer me and any sort of players that I should be looking at. Feel free to do so. And also, I've got another sub on board. We're up to 71, which is brilliant. Uh, if you have just come across this and if you do like this episode, then hit the sub again because that's that's that would be great. Uh, but what would be better is if we defend better and we win this game. But anyway, that's, thanks for the new subs on board. I hope you do like this this uh, series because I I've, I'm excited to do it. I'm looking forward to doing it. Oh, I should have been free. Should have been free. It was straight out of the goalkeeper. I find McKenna can get get the ball in. He can. Oh, decent defender again. But it comes to Chapman. Tops his shoots. The keeper spills it. It was a decent stop. And it's cleared out for a throw in. Decent spell for us again. We should have scored. We should have done better there. Should we be thinking about making any changes? That's that's the next thing. We have a quick look at what's going on. Uh, everyone seems to be okay. So it's, uh, I know it's, so there's an attacking going on in the background there. I'll get back to that in just a second. But I think everyone's all good. We'll just keep up things as they are. As they are. Oh, there's no highlight after all. Might take off the striker though. Or, or maybe or maybe put one of the... Uh, because we've got Connor McGlinchey on the bench. He's He's pretty quick. Oh, it's decent. It's decent. It's got in. Yes, it's got in. It's Chapman scores. Is that his first goal of the season? But I'll tell you what, it was a good header down. I think it was it was it Kevin? Was it Wall with the with the header? It was decent enough. That was good. He just heads it down, and Chapman just hits it in. It just spills. It was awkward to deal with. It's three one. Uh, I mean, I'm going to think about making that change now. Well, not before this free kick. McKenna takes the free kick. It's oh, I thought it was gone in. It was a great save. And oh, I thought they were going to call for a. For a penalty, then it's a goal kick. Right, let's make this change now. Uh, Labour is on six point nine. Feel a bit harsh taking them off, actually, but I think it will. 
I think we go. I think we're gonna give give this guy a go. Laginchi is gonna come on for <clears throat> which apparently he's not great at that at that in that position. Which you know, even though it's his natural position, um, they can have a change as well. Thompson coming off. We're gonna put Andy Irving on. And that's going to be it, I think. That'll be, that is it. Well, of course, that is it. Because we have to swap the goalkeeper in the end. So we've made a couple of changes there to try and see out this game. We'll get another goal. Don't want to give Edinburgh any more chances. They score now. It's going to be it's going to be a squeaky bump time for sure. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him... There, that's fine. That's fine. Don't want to give him a chance so late in the game. We're trying to see this game out. Right, come on, to clear the ball. Oh man, that's a bad clearance. It's right. It's okay. That is even worse. That was poor. That was a poor clearance, though. So. Right, we're approaching the 80th minute. This game has gone on for quite a long, quite a long time, isn't it? <laughs> well, I would say, I would, I would say at the minute, this is probably been our best performance so so far. Given how we attacked the game and defended. Just hope the goalkeeper's fine, because he's been he's been a great player. Right, McGlinchey finds Stewart. He's gonna try and find McGrath. I think McGrath is getting tired. He look he looks tired. He's, he's on seventy three percent. It's a decent ball again though. Uh, come on, let's clear it. Don't let him shoot. Oh, you could do that all day as far as I'm concerned. Got a feeling there's another goal in it somewhere. I hope it's going to come from out from, from us. Right, McKenna. He's been brilliant today, McKenna. He finds McGrath. Can McGrath shoot? It's good save. Good save. McKenna's been brilliant today. Definitely our key player as well. It's a decent corner. Force Irving Stewart tried, couldn't turn in time. But if McKenna's there again, he's everywhere. He's, he's a pain in the ass to the Edinburgh team today. There's got to be another goal somewhere for it, for it to go on for so long. It has to be. It wouldn't surprise me if it goes to Edinburgh. And then it'll be like a real tough test of character, you could say, for us to try and keep this lead. All right, we've got three minutes added on. It looks like it's going to be our day. Yeah, definitely, definitely our day. It's fine. Decent result. Second win of the season. We're still undefeated. What more can you ask for? All right, Notman. We could be going for one more goal. Can we get it? Going to give it a try. No, we're not. Irving's just going to bring it all the way back. But if Stuart tries to find the graph, no, it doesn't matter. It's been a great, great performance. It leaves us in second place. Oh, hang on. It's McGrath. He's nearly through. It's a decent defender again. And there you go. Final whistle. 3 1 the final score. That was a brilliant result. There. Uh, Gonna, nobody gave us a chance there you go so we'll have a quick look at the lead table before we get to, to Elgin City at home uh, which okay it does say third which I, I'm assuming we're going to stay uh, third or second at least and we're gonna, obviously we've got to find out the situation with our goalkeeper um, let's have a quick look how long is he out for oh, four to five weeks injured catching the ball my uh, well we is out to four weeks. We can send to a specialist or leave leave to the physio for five weeks. Well, I would say may, may as well save may as well save the money and leave it to the physio. So Ding War, it's over to you. But with the league table as follows: there we go. We're second. We've got a chance now to try and go top of the table if we win against uh, Elgin City. Let's head straight to our, towards that game. Um, of all being well, we could end this episode being on top of the table if Montrose lose, which I'm sure they will. Okay, so it is pretty much the same team apart from the goalkeeper. We're kicking it off against Elgin. Uh, we've got to pick up where we left off. That is the best message to send uh, to keep our good run going. Hand over to the assistant. And so far, there's been no annoying questions, which is uh, good to know. But... Can we continue our fine form, or fine display rather, that we put up against Edinburgh City? We'll find out. But it was, it was on the ball now. Thompson, or it was a highlight, now it's gone straight to this screen. 
Uh, so far, it is, well, it's 50-50 on possession. No, well, now it's more us, but there we go. Um, there we go. Let's find Stewart, finds McKenna. Nearly through on goal, nearly through. Right. Just can he can he get to it? Can he get to it? He just about gets to it. That was impressive. I thought it was going out of play, but he just about gets to it. Uh, but now it's Elgin City on the attack. Now we've got Anderson attacking. That's a decent ball, but we defended well. It's a corner ball. We, so he did bloody well, McKenna, to get to that ball. I thought it was going out of play. So well cleared. Well cleared by Kieran Stewart. Having a good season as well. And yeah, we've got a much better turnout. The fans have started to fill up, fill up our, our, our stadium. I can't remember what the um, capacity is, actually. I didn't think to look. I should have looked that up. Just out of interest. But we've got a good turnout, at least. The weather is good. The weather is good and everyone's happy. At the moment. Uh, it's a free kick. Just over the bar. Oh, that stand could do with being full. You'll give it time, give it time. Right, come to 15 minutes, nothing as yet. Elgin with, with most of the shots. Which is a little bit concerning. Yeah, there's going to be a yellow card for one of our players, I think. Or well, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, there it is. He's, you know, it looks like he's given a free kick away as well. That was just a terrible effort. Right. So, so it tells me that this is going to be a quiet game. I just hope it isn't going to be a nil-nil draw or something. Because um, I can't be dealing with that. Right. Dingwall is going to just smash up the field. Fine. She does a decent uh, goal kick as well. Right. No, so far it's a stalemate. It's going to be a... And I think he's just giving a penalty to him. He has. Wall's just tri tripped him. The, new, the goalkeeper, it's up to you. And he has saved it. Brilliant save. What a save by the goalkeeper. He keeps us in it. And it's McGrath on the ball now. McKenna. He's going to take it on. He nearly does. Well, that, the one way to make an impact. And that's how you do it. Uh, Thompson, that's five Chapman and decent save by the goalkeeper as a corner ball. It was a decent ball, but there was nobody there again. Because back with Stewart, he tries to find Wall, he does. Finds Thompson. And he just loses the ball in a very silly area. Come on, defend, defend. Defend, that's it, clear it away. Don't give him any chance. It's a free kick. We're giving so many. Free kicks away today. Penalties, free kicks, you name it. We are giving them every opportunity. <laughs> Never experienced that for a long time. For anyone to, for my team to give so many free kicks away in stupid areas. Right, come on. We've, we've, oh, we keep losing the ball again. And it's now Elgin on the attack. Sunderland finds Riley, but we managed to get the ball back. Uh, my game is glitching again. I, I don't know what is causing that. That's hopefully it'll sort itself out in just a second. I, we are giving him far too much of the ball, and that's gonna decent save again. I thought that was gonna be a goal. I think it's only a matter of time before they score. You know, I got a bad feeling about this game now, but because McGrath. Loses the ball again. It was, well, it was well defended, to be fair. And Oh, he's offside. Fraction offside, apparently. It's not going our way at the moment. It's uh, we've had two shots. We have got, well, sort of most of the possession. But it, Elgin have had the better of the chances. And, of course, they had a missed penalty as well. Like Chapman again. Oh, we've been we've been so disappointing. 
Oh, clear it away. The keeper has no idea where that went. But it was a fair bit just clears out for a corner. Stuart heads it out again. One thing I'll say at the minute, so far this season, our defence display has been pretty good. And I hope I haven't jinxed myself by saying that, but we have been pretty good. Oh, we've got a ball. We're having so many chances at Elgin. <laughs> so many chances. Ten, ten shots. Eight off target. Two on target. And a missed penalty, of course. We need a bit. We need to start playing. We need a bit of luck somewhere here. If we can just nick a goal towards the end of this half, all, all is well again. A bit concerned about Chris McDonald, though, because the referee, he's, he's given out free kicks like the like the sweets or something so we're going to try and look inside he's not yeah he's on 6.6 .6, so we'll keep an eye on him definitely need we've been the better team apparently i don't know i, I'm, I think i'm i think i'm lying there sli slightly but they don't need to know that they just need to know that they're being the better team kicking things off now it's labor on the ball no, good idea. Not, not, not quite. We did sort of. If that, if that had pulled off, it would have been a decent finish. It's yet another free kick. It's only a matter of time before they're going to take their chance. We keep giving free kicks away in silly areas. It's only a matter of time. I've got three shots. What is going on? There's something not right here. I don't, I don't see how we are threatening from long range. We've had one on target and three the entire game I don't see how that's okay we've got five free kicks and took nothing of it bit of a thriller going on there between Clyde and Edinburgh uh, so anyway let's have a quick look what can we do the defence is apparently playing poor which doesn't, doesn't show it uh, but Graf is on 6.3 we're going to we're going to do a, a change Aaron Morrell is going to come on for Graf coming off uh, Thompson McKenna's playing bad as well 6.4 but I'm not going to take him off just yet what I am concerned with is our left sided defender. I've got a bad feeling. But then I've got to watch out for my right side defender. I'm using yellow cards as well. So I take McDonald off. We're going to put McKinley on. We'll leave with that at the moment. Just uh, hopefully we can kick into second gear or something and find a goal from somewhere. Yeah, our attendance rate is 521 and 51 away fans. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Right, the hour got played in this game now. Still nil nil. We still can't find a way through. The goalkeeper, I'm sure he had his back turned to the ball then. It's a decent ball, and he's, I thought that went in. I thought that was a goal. The goalkeeper assisted him, and it would, I just thought that was going in. Luckily, we let off the hook once again. And somehow it's still nil-nil. No idea why or how this is going on. Um, okay, we have a look at the lead. The, well, the goalkeeper's playing well. That's that's a that's a positive. We we'll make one watch. Labour on six point three. So is McKenna. We've got to try maybe try and find some creativity from somewhere. Labour is technically a striker, but he is doing alright on, on that left side of the midfield. And we're collecting loads of yellow cards. I think now we're gonna we're gonna see some red red cards. Surely. I think we will. I think we've got too many yellow cards. Can we find that goal? Can we break break them down and come away with an undeserving win? I love winning games when we don't deserve it though. I, I, I find it. I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about you. I love it. We play bad all game, and yet we win. <laughs> so if that happens, that'll make my day. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Not at the mo at the moment. We're approaching the 90th minute. Can we get the goal? Right, McKenna, do something with that ball. Not that. Oh, the oh, I thought he was giving a good away. This and yet the game is playing awful. I don't know if, if that affects you, but it's coming McGinchy. He hits it wide. 
do apologize if, if this game is glitching and it's, I, I don't know why it's doing it. I've no idea. It's been playing great up to now. It's, um, but at least, at least to me, it's glitched. I don't know whether it is for, for yourselves if you're watching this. But we're going. To, we've got. Wow, this is it. It's going to be. We've got. It's gonna. Is it gonna? Yes, nil, nil. All right. I think. I mean, that was like we were, judging by the whole game, we were, we were awful. So I, I would consider that. And of course, Scott Dingwall deserves to man the match, in my opinion. If he, he did save the penalty, we, we could have lost. And it's nil nil. Uh, that was disappointing. Definitely disappointing. Right then, so with those two games played, we won and we drew, and it leaves us in second place on 10 points. I would say there's another good day in the office. Uh, so we'll look, look at the next set of games to come. We've got Stenhouse Muir, we've got Peterhead to play both away games in the Ludbrooks League 2. And then we've got Stenhouse Muir again in the Iron Brew Cup third round. So I might just, I'll probably show these two games. These two, the next set of games I'll, I will show because uh, I think that'll be interesting. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button, leave a comment. But more importantly, hit that subscribe button, guys. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take it easy. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.